It's Christmas Eve! Today is December 24th, it's Christmas Eve, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna vlog today and tomorrow, Christmas Day, and just spend the holidays with you guys, which this scenario is very new, by the way, like how we spend the holidays lately. I have always, always, always spent Christmas and majority of my life, New Year's, in San Francisco, because that is where I'm from, where my family's from. We're the only ones that live here in Texas. And then Vic has always spent Christmas in Michigan with his family. And so for the entirety of our relationship, until last year because of the pandemic. We had never spent Christmas together because we both have very old grandparents that we obviously wanna see for the holidays. So ever since me and Vic started dating and even when we were engaged and even once we were married, maybe one year while we were married, I spent Christmas in San Francisco, he spent Christmas in Michigan, but then he would come to San Francisco a couple days after Christmas. Last year was the first year that we spent Christmas here in our own home due to the pandemic, but we actually really enjoyed it and wanted to spend Christmas in our home because is this is our first home together. So it was nice spending Christmas like with us in our home, you know what I mean? So yeah, this year we are spending Christmas in our house again. Neither of us went home for the holidays, partially because of the pandemic. And obviously this third variant is going crazy. But also we just really enjoyed spending Christmas in our home last year. And I don't think his Christmas changed very much, like his home Christmas changed much over the years, but mine definitely has. The Christmas that I grew grew up having with my family and SF is completely different now, which is going to happen when people get older and start having kids and having families and everything like that. But I am the only one, I'm the last one standing on my side of the family that does not have kids. So it's very, very different for me. Like I love spending time with my cousins and my brother and stuff like that. And it's just not the same. Love all my nieces and nephews, love the kids, but it's just different. It's just different now. And I don't get to spend that same time time with my cousins that I grew up doing. No one really comes to Christmas anymore. Like we all used to spend Christmas at my grandma's house. I'm sure most families are like that. Like your grandparents is like the base home. Like that's, you know, the grandparents, they're like the glue. And then everybody would go to their house and have all this fun. And now nobody goes over there because understandably they have other sides of families now that they have to go visit. Their other sides of the family are also in the Bay. So they visit both sides during the holidays. So it's like, I don't even get to see anybody while I'm there. It's just, it's different because everyone's taking care of their kids, again, understandably, but I'm just sitting there like, it's just sad. Like I have such fond and like, I I would argue that I had, and everyone will say this, I'm sure, I had the best Christmas growing up. The best Christmas. I love my aunts and uncles. I have the best aunts and uncles. I have the best cousins, the best family, and I, I don't like change and I just want our Christmas to be what I what I grew up experiencing forever, which is not realistic. And I just don't like, I don't like the change. It's like completely different now. So I think with all of that happening and then the pandemic happening, I think it just kind of all came to a head where I was ready to accept a new Christmas tradition. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll like never go to SF for Christmas again. I don't know what my future plans are, but this year, <laughs> all that to say we're spending Christmas here. Anyways, I'm so sorry that I talk so much sometimes. I just get carried away and I truly feel like I'm talking to my besties. And when I talk to my besties, like this is how I talk. I talk all the time like this, like, yeah, it's a lot. If you're my friend and like, in person, you know, and I'm sorry. But yeah, today's Christmas Eve and my plans today were to go to the gym this morning, which I did, had a great workout. I had a wax at 10 a.m. And then I was going, I freaking hate loud cars. I hate loud cars. Small dick energy. I am gonna show you guys what else got delivered from my crazy spending spree, but I'm not gonna try it all on. I am going to do a try on haul of all these things for TikTok. So if you wanna see these items I'm about to show you on, then go to my TikTok and watch that. But I need something to open these boxes. Okay, hang on. I'm so excited though because I'm getting so sidetracked in my thoughts. This box is actually some clothes that was sent to me from Amazing Lace. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I'm always wearing stuff from Amazing Lace. They have normal, regular, everyday clothes, but I specifically always get the cute little, like, they're not bralettes. They're kind of like lounge tanks. 
that's what it's called. They're like lounge tanks and they're really, really cute. I always get them. I feel like there's a hair on my chin. I always get them from Amazing Lace and I wear them all the time. And on my TikTok specifically, I'm not even kidding on every single video where I'm wearing one. There are so many comments of people asking where the lounge tanks are from. And I'm always like, Amazing Lace, Amazing Lace, Amazing Lace. So they messaged me and asked if I would want them to send me anything. And I was like, hell yeah so i don't even know what all they sent i have no clue but yeah definitely going to do try on hauls on my tiktok so i'm excited for that but let's start with plt if you didn't watch the other vlogs basically i had a slight mental breakdown about a week ago or a week uh, two weeks i'm so bad with time a week or two weeks ago i went online and i spent like hella money buying new clothes because i'm just so fed up with my closet but there are specific things that i wanted body suits long sleeve tops like top I can wear with leggings like I have a whole list of very specific things that I need and want in my closet one of those things is graphic tees everything I got from PLT is graphic tees it was on super sale babes I think I got 12 items and my total was like $124 shirts were like $9 so I, I bought a lot of stuff Okay, so this is the first one. I don't really care what graphic tees say. Like people are like, oh, you've never even been there. Or like, that's not your team. You've never listened to that band. Who cares? So it's a chocolate brown shirt. Love the colors. The sleeves are long enough. I got it in a size large. So far so good. This one's super cute. It'll be cute at the gym. Cute with leggings, cute with biker shorts. This one I also got in large. It's just kind of a plain white one, but it says the Leisure Club established in 76, a time for relaxation. And it has two little tennis rackets. I think the style is cute. Okay, also, did I get them all in a large? This one's so cute. I've never even freaking been to montana <laughs> this is like low-key almost the same color as me but it says montana on it says eagle point montana my nose is kind of stuffed up and i'm not feeling it but i also didn't take my allergy medicine today so it's my own fault oh yeah okay i think i also got three basic solid t-shirts i got a black one a white one and a tan one and these were like so freaking cheap so cheap that i was almost worried it was going to be really bad bad quality but this is really Really cute, really good quality. I got this one in a large. This is just a tan shirt. I love a basic t-shirt and then like a lot of jewelry, like a lot of gold jewelry, chunky gold jewelry, rings, like that whole look. Ugh, I love it. So I got this to wear like that. Obsessed. So far, everything's like in the brown family. Okay, I also got this one in a large. This one's cute. I love the colors of this one. And it just says pretty little thing in a circle. And it says pretty little thing on the back i did good oh i think vic's home and he got us panera okay this is just the plain black one but i actually got this one in an extra small because i think i got some other black graphic tees in a large so i wanted like a black t-shirt that wasn't super oversized and can be worn like differently you know like different sizes for different things but this is really cute so it's the same exact shirt as this tan one this plain tan one they're really good quality and i'm telling you these were like either nine dollars or less so freaking cute i'm so glad i got these i wasn't sure i was really going back and forth with the solid ones because they just i just didn't know how the quality was going to be but it's good <gasps> i forgot i got this one it's a space jam one i love it so much there's my girl lola she's so cute love it i gotta show vic this he didn't know it. he doesn't know i got this one how many did i get is there like a I don't think they even put like um the paper with like the whole order. Don't see that. This is cute. Love the color and the what's it called? Like when they when a shirt looks worn. That's how this one is. Like it looks like it's been washed a thousand times. Love that. Ooh, I love a shirt too that has stuff on the back. I love that. I also got this one in a large. New York 1987, wild and free. This is what the back looks like. This girl, I got such good shirts. I was really worried about the quality, but I wasn't tripping because for everything it was 120 bucks. So I'm like, if I wasted money, I'll still wear them to the gym. And then it was 120 bucks. If it was like, if they were all full price and I bought all of these and then they were all bad, I would have been upset, but they were on super sale. It just keeps going. Okay, this one I got in a large and this is a plt i guess original so i got this one it's another gray shirt and it has these cute butterflies on it i love butterflies and then on the back it says pretty little thing and has some butterflies on it i thought it was cute love that one 
I think this is the plain white one. And I also got this one in an extra small. And it's not even that small. Like it's still a pretty good size. I love when a t-shirt has a good neckline. That might be weird or something that people don't notice, but this one has a good thick quality neckline. Oh, we love this one. Okay, I got this one. Boots here, I'm coming. Okay, I got this in a US 10. So I don't really know, maybe like, I think that's a, like a large. It's this really cute chocolate brown t-shirt and it says, stay optimistic. You don't have to fix everything. Find peace in the change. And down here it says, no amount of anxiety will change the future. Your future needs you, your past doesn't. Love it. Let's go downstairs and eat and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys what I got from Amazing Lace. He's so pretty, Luna. Oh. Yes, we love bread and chips and cookies. This doesn't feel like Christmas Eve and I'm sad. Does it feel like it's you? No, because it's 75 degrees outside. I know, how whack is that? Chips. Of course you got the cookies. We already have a bunch of cookies over here. Wait, is this my salad? Oh, I guess, because it's a. I got a little salad. I forgot. Did we get the same soup? I can't tell. I think this is chicken That's noodle. Chicken noodle. This one? Right, okay. Yum. I'm gonna have to take. I didn't say to take anything off because I was just like, I'll just pick it off. You know. You gotta take everything off. No. <laughs> just the tomatoes. So lettuce and avocado. <laughs> no, just the tomatoes and not even all the onions, just some of it. So I got my green goddess salad with my green goddess, what's it called, dressing. They got a big salad. I just got a little one because I got like half salad, half soup. And I got chicken noodle. It's gonna be so good. I need to take this allergy my <laughs> I need to take this because no ma'am, my allergies aren't gonna ruin the holidays. Yum, it looks so good. I've been craving avocado, that's why I specifically got that salad because that was the only one that had avocado on it in my soup. You can't tell, but it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna eat this really quick and then we'll go back upstairs and do the rest of, huh? That has my name on it? Meshki. Oh! I forgot what you ordered. No, I was waiting for the Meshki one, but it just said that it shipped like literally yesterday. But that pretty little thing bag, that's not mine. It is? Okay. <laughs> So if I included the clip, another pretty little thing package came. I ordered, I, I, <laughs> I ordered this order with all the graphic tees. I don't remember ordering another order. So one of my app, my PLT app, and it says, <laughs> and mind you, this is not the first time I've done this. I don't remember, I don't, re did I black out? I don't recall making two separate orders. If I look at the order, some of the things are <laughs> the same i'm a fucking idiot i told y'all i had a mental breakdown and bought a lot of stuff and i was not joking because i literally ordered stupid okay well okay so i got i'm not gonna open this because i have to return this i ordered this same shirt again so i'm gonna return that another one of these was a duplicate oh yeah these are different the fucking loud cars. How many douche lords live near me? I got them both in extra small, but they look like they're two different shirts. This one looks way better quality. So I'm gonna keep the one from the first order and return the one from the second order. I also ordered, I'm a fucking idiot. The Space Jam shirt, I ordered it twice. Jesus. Okay, so there's four items in the second PLT shipment. I feel like I was too close. Like, was I too close? Four items in the new PLT shipment that weren't in the first one. <sighs> like, am I okay? At least I'll get some money back. Not much, because these shirts were like so cheap. This is a plain black shirt in a size small, and it just says pretty little thing. This I got in a size US 2. Is this a dress actually? Yeah, okay, it's a t-shirt dress. Don't know if I'd wear it as a dress, but on the back, it says Tokyo, Japan. Super cute, never been to Tokyo, never been to Japan, but I am Japanese though. And then these two items are not graphic tees. I thought I just decided not to order these, but I guess I did order them. Like a fucking idiot or a genius. 
depending on if these are cute or not. These are two sweater dresses I got to wear to work and stuff. Hopefully it's long enough for my top. Let's see. It's long. This would be high school dress code appropriate. And if it's high school dress code appropriate lengthwise, then it's appropriate for the office. That's my logic. I'm sticking to it. Are the sleeves long? Oh, it is. Okay. So I got, I think I got the same dress, but in black and in brown because I couldn't choose. And both of these colors are in my new color palette wardrobe palette. Also the color palette, there's something in my eye. Ugh. The color palette rules to the color palette wardrobe thing. You can decide like what all it applies to, but for me, it does not apply to sweatshirts, graphic tees, and like workout clothes. It's more for like everyday clothes, body suits, tops, dresses, that type of thing. Did I get these? Oh dang, I got these in an extra small and they're pretty, they look pretty like oversized. So I got a black one and the brown one. And then I'm gonna return these duplicates. <laughs> Fucking stupid. And then moving on to what I'm so excited to open is the package from Amazing Lace. Cause again, I have no clue what they sent. I'm so excited. Aw, we know these pieces are gonna look amazing on, on you. We hope that you love them. Thanks for always supporting our small business. Super cute. So definitely go check out Amazing Lace. Cute. Okay, so this is a gray, I haven't even tried it on and I'm I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Cause I already know how I'd wear it. She is cute and the sleeves are long, bitch. I appreciate it so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <gasps> Stop it. Is this what I think it is? I have had my eye on this top on their site forever. And I just was like, you don't need it, girl. Like it's mad cute, but you don't need it. Amazing Lace sent me stuff. I'm so excited. So I didn't buy it, but they sent me one. I'm so happy. Okay, the sleeves are pretty long. I'll have to see when I try it on. And that's not even all. I'm shook. I'm obsessed. Oh, also the long sleeve shirt is actually one size. Um, it is very, very stretchy, but it is just one size. So this is the size. And then these tank tops, there's no size on it. So I think it's just one size. It has this pattern on it. So it's still ribbed. It's ribbed, but it's like diagonal. It came in this green color. It came in this really pretty mauvey brown tan color. And then of course there's a black one. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. I can't believe they sent me this many things. I think this is a shacket and I love a shacket. It's almost like a Henley material. The sleeves are long. So cute. Thank you so, so much to Amazing Lace. I'm shook right now that they even messaged me or were willing to send me stuff like shook. That was quick. Did you, sh did you shower with the hat on and just? Yeah. <laughs> It's now 4.30 and the sun is starting to go down. I freaking hate how early the sun goes down. Merry Christmas guys! It is Christmas day. I feel like my lens is dirty, but it is Christmas day. Merry Christmas to everyone. If you celebrate Christmas, otherwise happy holidays. I hope you're enjoying the holiday season with your family and friends. It is 11 19. And as you saw, we already opened gifts. I just, I literally just got out of the shower and now I'm about to just get ready for the day. I'm just going to do my makeup really quick. I'm not doing anything crazy because we're not leaving the house. I just don't want to feel busted and we're taking photos. So I'm going to do it really, really fast while I watch Watch some YouTube.
Okay, I'm all ready. I pretty much did my normal everyday makeup that I do to work. I'm not doing anything crazy today. And let's see how the hat looks. Okay, I think that's good. Let me put my jewelry on and we'll see if I like the whole outfit together. So I'm gonna put on my gold hoops and my rings and oh i gotta show you guys i'll show you guys some of the stuff i got for christmas vic did so good this year and i feel bad because i feel like i gave the worst gifts maybe not the worst gifts but i just feel like i could have done better and i pride myself on giving gifts like i love getting things for people i absolutely love it like if i were ever mad rich one day i would spend majority of my money buying people gifts for no reason but vic got me this gold chain for christmas that i've been wanting from electric pigs i think we do it for the photos what a vibe got all my rings on got my earrings on my necklace i think this will be good for photos let's go downstairs take these photos really quick and get to cooking because it's now 12. i did my makeup in less than 30 minutes i started my makeup at 11 30 it's 11 55. i just don't know how it takes people that long to do their makeup i'll never understand we just took our Christmas photos and I totally meant to vlog, but I forgot because we were trying to figure out how to take them. But now we're just cooking and we need to start drinking. Well, he already started drinking. We still don't have any shot glasses. So we're gonna eyeball this. Oh, I was gonna, um, I was gonna put it on my Instagram stories too. We'll do a little drink on here. I think I put, is this, an, is this like a shot? Is that a lot? I don't know how much triple sack to put. I think it's just like a little, right? Like a, a little splash, a little splashy splash. I hope this isn't too strong. Does that look good? Yeah, does that Jose, does that Jose Cuervo have an alcohol in it or no? Was it um, just a it, it does. I didn't think about that. I thought it was just, <laughs> no, it says made with Jose Cuervo tequila and triple sack. It doesn't smell as strong as yours smelled. <clears throat> it's strong, but it's not that it's not like I think yours is stronger. You want to taste it? <laughs> it's not that strong. I mean, does it burn going down? Yes. It'll mellow out some of the ice melt. Yeah. So we're cooking so far. The stuffing is the stuffing in the oven. Yeah. Stuffing's in the oven. Stuffing is my favorite dressing. <laughs> Please comment below if you call it stuffing or dressing. I've never called it dressing in my life. Vic's pretty much making everything. I had planned on helping, but I was editing the photos that I just posted. But now I'm done with that. And now I made my drink so like I can help. I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes. All we have left is mac and cheese. We're gonna have steaks instead of turkey. We didn't do the whole turkey thing because it's really just us. And we love an air fried steak. If you haven't put steak in the air fryer, I promise you it'll change your life. So we're gonna have air fried steaks with all of the normal Thanksgiving Christmas sides. So stuffing, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. Green bean casserole. Oh, and we're making green bean casserole. But the casserole doesn't take long either. So we're just gonna do the mac now and then we'll do the green beans and the mashed potatoes last. Mm -hmm. That is the plan. Okay, it's way, way later now and I completely forgot to show you guys the food when we got done cooking. It's now 7.30 p.m. <laughs> A lot of time has passed. We cooked the food. I'll show you guys a little bit, but now it's been like sitting out. We're about to put it away. That's why I remembered, but we ate lots of food. I fell asleep, then Vic fell asleep. I've been editing pretty much the entire day. And now we're exhausted. This has felt like the longest day for no reason. I forgot we opened gifts earlier. I felt like that was yesterday, but that was today. Let me show you the food really quick. So we had mac and cheese. We had a little bit of cranberry sauce from the can because we Real cranberry sauce is fucking gross. We've got green bean casserole, dressing. We had some steaks. The gravy looks freaking gross now because it's been sitting out on the stove forever. <laughs> and we had some mashed potatoes, but it was all really good. It, it doesn't look as great now because it's been sitting out, but it was bomb. It was fire. I'm so freaking full. Yeah, you guys come be in the end of this vlog. Say bye. It's a family vlog. Luna, be good girl. Be good girl. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. And we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.